US Justice Department has seized five more pages of classified documents from President Joe Biden after they were found in his Delaware residence. Joining us now, our political analyst and professor at Curtin University, Joe Syracuse. Joe, good morning to you. Uh, Happy New Year. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and all of that. So how are House Republicans playing to or planning to investigate President Biden over this? Uh, good, good morning, Pete. Well, look, uh, they're going to come at him hammer and tong. There are two words the president never, ever wants to hear, and that's special, special counsel. And uh, they have now dedicated one person to... Uh, look into these leaks or into these papers, and they're going to find a lot of things here. And, of course, uh, this, these are papers from his time as vice president when he was in charge of um, uh, relations with Ukraine and while his son, Hunter Biden, then divorced and addled with drugs and alcohol and the rest of it and working for a Ukrainian government or working for the Ukrainian uh, energy company is, is living in the house. You know, this idea that... Um, there are documents about Ukraine not too far away from the prize Corvette in the secure garage strikes me as bizarre. Anyway, uh, the um, Republicans, the House Republicans, are going to uh, use the House Judiciary Committee, and they're going to use the Oversight Committee and the Intelligence Committee to look at um, the connection between the uh, the FBI and Twitter, and they're going to be looking at um, the uh, the um, secretary for or, uh, for the borders and for the homeland security, and they're going to be looking at um, the president's handling of um, of uh, the debacle at um, in Afghanistan. You know, Pete, a lot has a lot of things begin with the president's disaster uh, evacuating uh, uh, Afghanistan. I mean, a lot of the problems begin, and particularly. Uh, you know, America's allies continuing to doubt America's word and the rest of it. But the president has a major scandal on his hand. And keep in mind that when the special prosecutor gets going, um, and, you know, whether we're talking about Whitewater or Iran-Contra, when they get going, they, they, they tend to just slip a little bit out of the... Uh, out of the original target and, and look at other things. So anything the special prosecutor finds right. becomes um, becomes uh, a, a target. And, um, you know, with, with Whitewater, I'll never forget, uh, Ken Starr went looking for real estate deals and he wound up with Monica Lewinsky at the yep. end of it. So yep. uh, it's a surprise package. And yeah, of course, that, it's debilitating. Yeah, the, no, that is true. But it doesn't, doesn't this all prove, Joe, that... When it comes to classified documents, all ex-presidents or vice-presidents, they've all got them, right? So so aren't they all just in the same basket? I, I believe so. Look, a lot of the mainstream uh, uh, media and even people like the New York Times are going way out of their way to say that uh, what happened with Biden and what happened with Trump are two different things, that uh, Trump is culpable and Biden is a sort of... Uh, uh, is not, and that uh, it's, it's not... Th- it, look, uh, if you have uh, documents that are classified, and I've used them all my life in terms of writing presidential books, and they look kind of scary, um, uh, it's not that big a deal, unless, of course, you're, you're using them to leverage something. I can see Biden's uh, kid ta- just waving one of these around, and they look, they look incredibly scary, you know, to someone else. You can say, oh, look, I have access to all this intelligence, et cetera. Uh, look, they they, um, they classify too much. You know, most presidents now classify their luncheon uh, menus, and they, we're just <laughs> yeah. over-classified in the United States. On the other hand, you know, if you, if you have information uh, with nu- on nuclear weapons or negotiating positions or worse yet, uh, operatives, uh, you know, then then we're still in trouble. And, and the thing in Washington is that everybody uh, is nearly cleared to to look at these kinds of things. And uh, you know, you, you yeah. could imagine uh, these these judiciary and other and intelligence committees they get things. And of course, with all this doc, with all this security. Because Washington is all tied up like a drum or tight as a drum, Washington leaks like a sieve, as you know, Pete. Almost anything that's important winds up in the New York Times or one of the cable network shows. So you know, wow, wow that's the irony. You know, while everything yeah. looks tight, everything's very, very loose. At the hey, same just time. a quick one, uh, more, more to our region too, Joe. South Korea has made a threat to go nuclear for the first time. Well, it's it's more than a threat. You know, the, the president of South Korea has said that, uh, literally, that uh, they can't trust the American uh, n- nuclear guarantee and that they may have to go their own way. Uh, and he knows what he's talking about. Over 70% of the South Korean public uh, would like nuclear weapons of the battlefield kind. That's Hiroshima and Nagasaki variety. And um, they uh, they don't trust the United States to come to the party. And I, I think that, that that's fair. 
uh, during uh, just before the Cuban Missile Crisis, uh, President de Gaulle asked uh, John Kennedy, "Would America exchange Chicago or New York for for Paris?" And, and the president, uh, wa wa waffling a little bit, Kennedy said to him, "No, Americans will not uh, have a nuclear war. Will not give up an American city f for a non-American event." And so, look, South Korea knows that it's going to be pretty much on its own, and Japan will uh, then follow suit. And Pete, let me tell you. When uh, North Korea gets nuke, South Korea gets nuclear weapons, and look, they're only a screwdriver away because they got all the components over there. North Korea is going to pay attention, and China is going to pay attention because mm. South Korea wants to deal directly with North Korea, and they want to deal with like for like. Uh, right now, North Korea doesn't give a damn about what anybody says, and it doesn't worry about South Korea at all because yeah. it has nuclear weapons. And of course, as you know. You know, if you have a nuclear weapon, then no one's really going to bother you very much. So no. South Korea is going to have to get on side. Yeah, that's true. Joe, thank you. We'll talk to you again next week.